Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I went to the Museum of Ice Cream and the admissions ticket for this museum I feel like was a bit expensive. It was about $44 per person, but that did include unlimited ice cream in the museum. So I guess that kind of makes up for it. So here on the wall, these are just names of famous celebrities and they changed their name a little bit to make it a ice cream flavor, which I thought was super unique and pretty creative. So here is the first station with free ice cream. I felt like this room looked really, really pretty. Like it's like all pink and I don't know, it just looked really cool. Here is the ice cream that I got. Isn't it so pretty? This was the wall of sprinkles behind the ice cream station. And oh my gosh, I think they did a really, really nice job of displaying this. So now we come into the room of desserts and oh my gosh, it is so cute. I feel like this reminds me of something that you would see at a fancy dinner or something. This is another really cool pink room and there were doors where you could open and there was a display in there, but this museum was very, very pink as you can see. I think this was some kind of disco room, but there was a disco ball in here and again, very pink. So they made a New York City subway display, but instead they made it pink and the ice cream museum themed.
So now we come into the room of yellow and pink bananas hanging from the ceiling. And here is a tunnel with a bunch of sprinkles. I love what it says on the wall here. It says the only life worth living is the one you imagined. And here are some letter magnets. I thought this was pretty cool too. They made it look like the spoon was scooping ice cream from the wall as if the walls were made out of ice cream. Here's where the second free ice cream station was. I decided to get the cappuccino ice cream. This tunnel looked so cool. I think I walked through here probably three or four times. Here is some trivia on the wall. I learned that the ice cream cone was invented in 1904 and that the U.S. is one of the top four countries that consumes the most ice cream. And here there is a swirly slide that I went on and I also did take a video of me going down the slide right here. <laughs> And then when you get off the slide, this is the third free ice cream station. I got the pineapple sorbet and it was really good. And now we come into this yellow room and this was where the fourth free ice cream station was and I decided to get the lemon sorbet. I did not take a picture or a video of it, but there was a free ice cream station here. The 
there were two of these really cool yellow chairs and it kind of reminds me of a dragonfly or a firefly or even like a lily pad or something. I don't know, but I thought they were pretty cool. So now we are at a little kid's playground slash jungle gym, but this is where the little kids, they like to play and obviously it's ice cream themed. Now this is a pool of sprinkles. Obviously it's not real sprinkles, they're just plastic things that are shaped like sprinkles. So right here, this is where the kids section was and then they had a separate section that was a little bit smaller just for adults. So right here, this is the pool of sprinkles that's just for adults. So that is the end of the ice cream museum tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. When you exit, there is a little gift shop and I definitely recommend you check out the museum of ice cream if you're ever in a city that has this museum because they do have it in some major cities around the world, but definitely not everywhere. And I think it's a really cool, unique experience. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Definitely subscribe and turn on the bell notification if you like this video and you are not subscribed already. Also give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you like this video and that I will make more of these types of videos in the future.